wait a minute. Sorry about the delay. ಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂಶಂಕರಂ
or to, for simplicity we will say in the eyes because eye in English can be misunderstood not as eye but in the eye not in the the letter I but the eyes so I will say eyes in the eyes or chakshu I will say for you know better still chakshu so the purusha to be meditated upon in the chakshu of the upasaka jiva and the surya mandala aditya gata purusha their anta anta is what is to be meditated upon Akshini cha aditya cha antaha. This antaha is the conclusion. One who is inside. Why? Tad dharma upadesha. So is it the Surya himself who is upasya? The Jiva who is upasya? Brahma is upasya? First, the Sutra Gara said anta. What is this anta? We will see in the Vritti. Basically, Brahma. It is the same Nirvishesha Brahma. Who is seen as Savishesha also. The same Nirguna Brahma, Nirvishesha Brahma, who appears with gunas due to Maya Shakti as Ishwara, Saguna Brahma, that is the Upasya there. Na Samsari Jeevaha, that is the refutation, not Jeeva who is Upasya. It is not that Jeeva who you say is the Surya. Because Surya is Aditya, Aditya Devata. That Aditya Devata is not Upasya there. Aditya Devata is also seen as Jeeva there. But Anta has been said, Antaha. In the Sutra, Anta means who is in the Aditya Devata. And in Jiva uh, Chakshushi in the Akshi, one who is in the Akshin, that is also Parameshwara. Not the Jiva himself. So one should not be meditating upon oneself as seen in the Akshi. I am saying this because there is a misconception like that. Somebody was saying this. He says that the mukti will not be possible unless upasana is complete. And what is the upasana completion? He says that you should have darshan of your own self in the in your own eye. That is not what is being discussed there. And this comes up in eighth chapter also. Eighth chapter also in a very different way, but there are some striking similarities there. In the eighth chapter of Chandogya Upanishad, when Chaturmukha Brahma announces that I will teach Moksha, Moksha Shastra. Then the Deva of Devas and Deva of Rakshasi, the, the, the chief, chief of Rakshasas and uh, Daityas and Devas, Virochana and Indra both go to Brahma after you know several years of Brahmacharya Vasa there. The first teaching is it is that which is reflected in the eye. Virochana goes back thinking that this is to be meditated upon. You have to meditate upon yourself who is seen in the eye. That is a misunderstanding. Whereas Indra comes back halfway home, he comes back or a little out home, he says, no, this, is, this does not seem to be right because this is something that is well known. So he goes back and asks something and then some other Upadesha, again he takes that as real and that's the final teaching and tries to go back. Then again something, you know, strikes him and he comes back. Virochana never came back. He went and he taught that to the Daityas, this, I mean, in fact, basically Sharira itself. Initially he thought that Sharira itself is, what Sharira you are seeing, that itself is Atma. That's why all Charvakas are actually followers of these Rakshasas where Sharira itself is Atma. A little subtler is seeing that in the eye. That's another teaching there. So there is a gradation of teaching based on the Adhikara one will keep on asking is there something more, is there something more until there is nothing more left within. In the Panchakosha Viveka what we saw in the earlier Pathas or in the Katashruti as sa kashta sa paragati hi. That is the end goal. So here, antas tad dharma upadeshat. Why? Because the dharmas have been talked about. It is not the jiva himself, whether it is devata or aditya devata, surya devata or the upasaka jiva. It is not either of them who are 
the upasya there who are the vishaya of meditation. Why? Taddharma upadeshat. The Hetu given is Taddharma upadeshat because such dharma upadesha has been done. What dharma? This is paparahita, pap sarva, papmarahita. Papma is papa there. Paparahita cannot be jiva, cannot be aditya devata also. There is papa for all jivas, whether devata or manushya, all jivas have some papa. It is not 100% punya in devatas also. And if you see, okay, devata janma is because there is 100% punya or close to 100, we even accept theoretical figure of 100% punya, still, whoever is associated as aditya devata due to Whichever karma upasana phala, that entity will be reborn because sanchita is still there. Considering ajnani jiva there, not a mukta jiva. And sarva papmarahita has been mentioned. In Puranas you see Aditya Devata also has some dukkha, has to fight battles. So there also the jiva himself even as a devata, cannot be sarva papma rahita. Therefore, taddharma upadesha. We will see more dharma in the vritti. Purvatra brahma brahma padam. So, what I said earlier, ananda maya padam and ananda abhyasa chaiti. There are three words which have been used earlier. They are looked into in minute details, so Brahma Pad, minute in the sense, not at the Bhashya level, but then in the Vritti, whatever is needed that was looked into. So Brahma Pada was looked at, Ananda Maya Pada was looked at, and Ananda Abhyasa was looked at. These are the three words which were considered while landing on the meaning in the earlier Radhikarana for Ananda Maya Shabda. So Purvata Brahma Padam, Ananda Maya Padam, Ananda Abhyasa Chya Iti Mukhya Tritayatmaka Bahupramana Vashat. And these three, the way they are used in the Upanishad, they became the Hetu for interpreting the meaning in the Anandamaya Dikarana for Anandamaya Shabda. So, Mukhya Tritaya Atmaka Bahu Pramana Vasha. There was, there were so many usages that served as a Pramana to land on the meaning in the or conclusion in the Anandamaya Dikarana. What is that? Nirivishesha Brahma Niranaya Yatha. How all of that analysis of these three words led to a conclusion that Tatpare Vishaya there is Nirivishesha Brahma Nirguna Brahma. That Niranaya was done. Yatha Sa Niranaya Ha Nirivishesha Brahma Niranaya Purvatra Adhikarane Anandamaya Adhikarane Tatha Similarly, if you compare such kind of an analysis, if you do in this Upasana section, Tatha Rupa Vattvadi Bahu Pramana Vashat Samsari Hiranvayaha Purusha Astu Iti Purva Siddhanta Yuktya Purva Pakshothana Tena Asya Drishtanta Sangati Tena Drishtanta Sangati Another example has been taken. Just like there were decisive Pramanas, multiple at that, with these three words in the earlier Radhikarana, similarly Rupa Vattvam, Rupa Vattvam, because Rupa is discussed, what kind of meditation should you do? So, you know, this uh, uh, Suvarna, moustache and beard, golden beard and gold, golden hair, the, that Upasya Devata has a golden form has golden moustache, has golden beard. So, here, Suvarnas Mashru, such kind of Hiranyas Mashru, that, that kind of a Rupa is discussed there, on which you have to meditate. Says the Upanishad, Therefore, what Tatha Rupa Vattvadi Bahu Pramana Vashat, having such kind of a Rupa, that will become Pramana. And many such Vakyas are there, many such words are there. Therefore, Bahu Pramana Vashat Samsari Hiranmayaha Purushastu. So, similar analysis can be done and that Hiranmayaha Purusha, 
has a suvarna roopa has a golden form that kind of upasya he is a samsari samsari purusha that purusha to be meditated upon he is a samsari devata or jeeva it is he is a samsari that entity is a samsari upasya devata not your nirguna brahma says the puro pakshi astu iti purva siddhanta yuktya purva siddhanta it is puro paksha Uh, sorry purva siddhanta what was said earlier based on that purva siddhanta yuktya purva paksha utthana since this purva paksha comes up in this manner based on what was said in the pur in the purvasmin adhikarane yaha siddhanta that siddhanta was established based on whichever yukti so there was a yukti based on that so through that yukti itself that uh, brahma pada multiple usage is there in what sense brahma kucham pratishtha that brahma is the same brahma which is in the mantra as brahma vidapnoti param or satyam jnanam anantam brahma then anandamaya how is it used this mayat pratyay is vikararthe or prachuryarthe multiple analysis was done there ananda abhyasascha it is repeated ananda word has been repeated multiple times so similarly the analysis here as to rupa has been repeated there what kind of rupa description of that rupa is with words this hiran hiranmaya that word has been used so that purusha let it be samsari based on that yukti used by the or siddhanta in the earlier adhikarana similarly puro paksha kam sapna puro paksha utthana due to that reasoning ten adhikarana sa asya adhikarana se drishtanta sangati hi so similar example has been used by the puro pakshi therefore it is a drishtanta sangati it's not a counter example similar example has been used whatever words you have used there is bahulyam of such words so you landed on nirguna brahma now also you upasana kanda in the upanishad itself says the puro pakshi that i will show you multiple words which cannot mean nirguna brahma due to bahulyam such usage it has to mean samsari jiva that is the drishtanta sangati what is the phala phala bheda between the puro paksha and siddhanta phalantu purvottara pakshayo ho अपर पर ब्रह्म उपास्ति द्रष्टव्यम सो वेदर यू से संसारी जीव और संसारी इन दि पूर्व पक्षी इज पर्स्पेक्टिव शी सींग दैट सूर्य इवन इफ यू कंसिडर एज सगुण ब्रह्म ऑल्सो हि इज संसारी नाउ बिकॉज दि फला इज वॉट उपास्य उपास्य तो मीन फला हूज उपासना whether it is nirguna brahma or saguna brahma whatever it is it is upasana phala both agree that it is upasana that much at least we can agree that phala is common as upasya now we will decide whether it is nirguna brahma or saguna brahma or a samsari jeeva individual samsari considering the individual also because the vakyas dealing with the akshigata purusha of the jeeva that is also being looked into so chandogya mantras are the vishaya here that comes up next as to <coughs> sorry so phalam tu purvottara pakshayo ho uttar pakshay siddhanta so puro paksha between puro paksha and uttar paksha apara para brahma upasti eva upasti is upasana eva both have phala as upasana apara brahma or para brahma para brahma is saguna brahma para brahma is nirguna brahma or apara can you can see you know in the case of akshigata it can be jeeva also chandogya shruyate in chandogya upanishad what is the shruti vakya there athay eshvantar aditye hiranmaya purushah ityadi so ath ya eshah antah who is within this entity who is within who is that 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 very entity which is Aditya in the Surya Mandala, in Surya Aditya, that 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 Purusha who has a golden form, Hiranmaya, he has has a a golden golden form, form, has has been been discussed discussed because Hiran, Hiran, Hiranya, Hiranya Varna, that Varna is Rupa, it is color, so color is discussed. Nirguna Brahma cannot be having this. कलर एज अ गुण इत्यादि 
तत्र किम अयम पुरुषा विद्या कर्म अतिशय वशा प्राप्तोत्कर्ष कश्चित संसारी उत नित्य सिद्ध परमेश्वर संदेहे संसारी इति पूर्व पक्ष पूर्व पक्षी से क्वेश्चन संशय विषय इज वॉट देर इज डाउट संशय किम अयम पुरुषा दिस पुरुष हु इज टू बी मेडिटेटेड अपॉन इन दैट वाक्य ऑफ छांदोग्य फर्स्ट चैप्टर That purushaha is he is it some kashit samsari some samsari not this you know need not necessarily be samsari the way we know in this bhuloka it can be some other samsari elsewhere in the devaloka also there is there are samsaris not all devatas are mukta in fact most devatas are not mukta they want they want followers they want you to do the puja upasana ityadi. and then they will give phala the way they expect these things and they want you to continue doing that in fact brahmadaka upanishad says devata nam pashu these worshipers who keep on worshiping as the end goal that is all the all that is needed they are like pashus for devatas because devatas don't want you to leave them they will put badakas they will bring up obstacles because they see that if one person is going to get mukta then he'll go above them then devata has no control there they cannot punish you they cannot give you trouble they cannot scare you away so like a pashu you take care of you know in earlier uh, era the cattle is was considered as wealth now even in villages you know there is not much of cattle left very difficult to take care no support from the state very expensive also to cater to and do go seva also but then go seva under the name of go seva there is a lot of other things which are taking place the cow is tied up and then the bullock which is also taken care of but still need to slog in the fields so it's a give and take relationship the cattle also wins you also win because you want not only to do go seva go seva will bring punya of course but then the other factors which are there which make your life easier due to which you are actually expanding the cattle you want to have more and more wealth that is dhana and you are benefited similarly devatas are benefited by human beings and upanishad says that like those pashus which are bringing benefit to the human beings while being taken care of definitely similarly human beings are like pashu for devatas serving the devatas while definitely being taken care of by the devatas so what is being said is that it is not that you stop the puja of devatas what is said is that you don't stop there that is for a purpose and these very devatas become indriya devatas and they they'll bring up obstacles as soon as they see that this person is slipping from their grasp that is how the upanishad discusses it as soon as they see it then they'll by being the adhisthatru devata of the chakshur indriya ityadi they will bring issues in the indriyas also that is why you know in uh, uh, any of the sadhu pursuits there are bahu vignani so there are a lot of vignas these vignas can be in any way so these adhisthatru devatas will bring up issues health issues or other kinds of issues which will make the person take a break or stop the pursuit no this is difficult this is not working whatever you know there will be mental setbacks and the person gives up the seeking so one should be aware of this that is the reason the upanishad discusses it one has to be aware that this manushya janma is for moksha even with difficulties and you will have difficulties you have to face these difficulties head on and move ahead so with that background <coughs> this mantra has to be understood athaye esha antar aditye hiranmaya purusha that aditye is also devata who can be 
असंसारी सेजी पूर्व पक्ष तत्र किम अयम पुरुष विद्या कर्म अतिशय वशात प्राप्तोत्कर्ष कश्चित संसारी इज दैट देवता इन दी इज दैट सॉरी इज दैट पुरुष इन दी आदित्य देवता आदित्य मंडला बेसिकली आदित्य मंडला दी दी सूर्य दैट वी सी प्रत्यक्ष सूर्य दैट वी सी विद इन दैट देर इज दिस पुरुष हु इज टू बी मेडिटेटेड अपॉन एज हैविंग अ गोल्डन फॉर्म इज दैट कश्चित संसारी सम संसारी नॉट दिस भूलोक संसारी मे बी देवता लोक संसारी हाउ डिड ही बिकम दैट दैट कैंड ऑफ अ एंटिटी हु इज आइडेंटिफाइड विद द सूर्य मंडला बिकॉज ऑफ विद्या विद्या हिर इज उपासना एंड कर्म ड्यू टू दी कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ विद्या एंड कर्म अतिशय वशात ही हेज डन अ लॉट इन दी अर्लियर जन्म और जन्मास अक्रॉस मल्टीपल जन्मास ही हेज बीन अ उपासका सूर्य उपासका और has done karma along with upasanas not only upasanas karma and upasana samuchya this person has done therefore what does what is the upasana phala general upasana phala of any devata is aikya with that devata identity with that devata after the drop of the body not here and now there may be some dharmas which one will start you know cultivating one will start getting some dharmas of the upasya devatas due to the blessing due to nividya offered and that nividya consumed in karma or due to upasana also one will start looking like that so you will start getting some rupa similar rupa so if you meditate upon golden shine then one will get that you know teja in the on the face there is teja like gayatri upasana brings that kind of a brahma varchasa similarly so all these upasanas have some common results which can be here and now but the one of the main results is that one will get aikya with this उपास्य देवता आफ्टर दी ड्रॉप ऑफ दी बॉडी देर फोर विद्या कर्म अतिशय वशात ड्यू टू अंडर दी इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दैट कैंड ऑफ एन उपासना एंड कर्म एक्यूमुलेटेड अक्रॉस जन्म और इन दी अर्लियर जन्म लॉट ऑफ दैट डन अतिशय नॉट लिटिल नॉट ईच ईच एंड एवरी उपासका विल गेट दैट रिजल्ट ऑफ ऐक्य विद दी देवता इट इज टू कंप्लीशन इट इज टू दैट प्रत्यक्षत्व ऑफ दैट देवता ड्यू टू दैट प्राप्त उत्कर्ष प्राप्त उत्कर्ष इज प्राप्त उत्कर्ष येन वन हू हेज अटेन्ड दिस उत्कर्ष दैट कैंड ऑफ अ संसारी नंदलेस बिकॉज इवन इफ दैट पर्सन गेट्स ऐक्या विद दी उपास्य देवता ही इज गोइंग बी बॉर्न अगेन आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम मे बी बट स्टील बॉर्न अगेन आफ्टर अ कल्पा मे बी बट स्टील बॉर्न अगेन दे फॉर कश्चित संसारी कैन बी वन पॉसिबिलिटी उत नित्य सिद्ध परमेश्वर एव because it is within that surya mandala there is one purusha that purusha is not the purusha you look at in the as the surya as is that uh, you know as the as the sun the way the scientists see the sun not that because it is within antaha this purusha puri shete iti purusha one who is within literally sleeps one who sleeps within meaning he is he is there within purishayana purushaha in gita navadware pure dehi so one who is uh, this dehi is one who is in the who is present within the nine gated city what is that nine gated city it is the sharira so within this sharira of the aditya who is there that entity is antaha it cannot be one who is when you see with the naked eye or with you know with a telescope or whatever have you therefore that within is nitya siddha parameshwara as another possibility iti sandehe sati samsari iti purva paksha purva pakshi says no it is samsari why because he has he is giving the hetu as rupa vatva ityadi hiran maya ha itself will will become a hetu there for the purva pakshi siddhantastu In the case of Siddhanti, however, ya esha, ya esho antar aditya, ya esho antar akshini. He says not only in aditya there is another vakya for akshigata purusha also. That purusha ya esha antaha aditya antaha bhavati ya esha ha upasya purusha ha akshini antaha bhavati. One who is within the eyes of the chakshu of the upasaka and one who is in the aditya mandala sahayeka. That is one one parameshwara. 
there may be two different upasanas vyasti and samashti kind of upasanas may be different there but it is even relating to the vyasti it is one within the vyasti that is one single entity who is also there in the samashti so you may think that it is vyasti upasana but within the vyasti what has to be seen in the vyasti chakshu in individual eyes what is seen is that purusha who is finally to be understood in jnana kanda as one with that aditya gata purusha so iti cha shruyamana parameshwara eva na samsari it is not samsari one who is within has to be parameshwara and that parameshwara need not, cannot be two it is that limitless ishwara nobody wants a limited ishwara so ishwara for each and every follower has to be limitless so actually advaita will be established even by a simple argument like that is your ishwara be it you know vishnu or shiva is it is that ishwara really param really param means what is he limitless if he is limitless you cannot be outside if you are outside as a an individual as a devotee whatever as a bhakta you cannot be outside that ishwara be it shiva or vishnu or krishna whoever have you devi because as soon as you say i am separate then you have limited that ishwara by vastu parichheda by desha parichheda and by extension even kala parichheda so your ishwara will become limited and as soon as you agree that ishwara is limitless then you cannot be separate from that ishwara so finally you know in one way or the other advaita will be established if one thinks logically to conclusion as the shruti mentions shruti talks about this ishwara as limitless it will not be only tarka siddha because this tarka will have another tarka as a counter dvaitins will bring other counters but still shruti says that and we use logic to establish what shruti says so it's uh, shruti mura tarka so siddhanti has said that it has to be parameshwara what is heard in the shruti across multiple vakyas cannot be your samsari jeeva be it devata also it has to be parameshwara why kutah kasmat karana tad dharma upadeshat such dharm, his dharmas have been discussed what are those dharmas it is brahma dharma parameshwara dharma not jeeva dharma not a samsari dharma tad dharma upadeshat tasya parameshwarasya tat there is tasya shashti and that shashti that tat pada means parameshwara tasya parameshwarasya dharma upadesha ete dharmaha ye sarva pap rahityadi dharmaha tesham asmin vakye upadesha asmin vakye in these this esha antaradityye yaha esha antarakshini there further if you look at then the mantra says that it is sarva pap rahita your upasana should have that kind of a dharma in the in the in in your mind you should be thinking of these dharmas so there uh, the mantra itself says if you look up that chandogya mantra which is uh, in the first chapter seventh khanda seventh khanda if you look up the five mantra uh, mantra number 5 so it is 1.7.5 in chandogya if you look up it says athaya esho antarakshini purushah drishyate then that purusha drishyate further what has been said if you look up you keep on going you will see dharmas as sarva papma rahitya mityadi it is multiple mantra it starts there so there who is that who is that it cannot be samsari jiva because sarva papma rahityam is not possible for jiva any jiva be it devata also it is just not possible therefore it has to be it has to be uh, because of those dharmas sarva pap marahit yadi dharma it has to be parmeshwara here now what about this rupavatvam puro pakshi says it's okay you are discussing one dharma but what about my hetu my hetu is rupavatvam hiranya maya purusha hiranya maya purusha that hiranya mayatvam what about that sir you have to answer that question because my hetu will stand counter to your hetu you are saying sarva papma rahita i am saying hiranya mayatvam suvarna 
स्मश्रु इत्यादि सो सिद्धांत आंसर दैट हिरण्य स्मश्रु केशादिकम तो वन हु हैज गोल्डन बियर्ड गोल्डन मुस्ताज गोल्डन हेयर ऑल दैट ऑल दैट इज डेफिनेटली डिस्कस देयर वी डोंट से दैट इट इज नॉट डिस्कस बट दैट कैन नॉट बी द हेतु इट इज अ वीक हेतु इट कैन नॉट बी यूज्ड एज अ हेतु एट ऑल बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ स्ट्रांगर हेतु सिटिंग देयर सर्वोपापमराहित्यम इज लिटरल देयर बट दिस हिरण्य स्मश्रु एटसेट्रा इट इज नॉट लिटरल इन द सेंस इट इज नॉट द फाइनल पुरुषा हु इज लाइक दैट व्हाई हिरण्य स्मश्रु केशादिकं तु मायिकं इट इज माया रिजल्ट ऑफ माया बिकॉज रूप एंड ऑल इज ब्रॉट अबाउट बाय माया इन ब्रह्म द जीवत्व इज ड्यू टू माया अविद्या सो दिस मायिक रूप इज नॉट द फाइनल रूप इट इज डिस्कस देयर ऑल राइट बट व्हाट इज बीइंग सेड इज दैट यू लुक एट दैट निर्गुण ब्रह्म इटसेल्फ एज हैविंग हिरण्य स्मश्रु एटसेट्रा so you cannot say that it is it is a jeeva it is a samsari jeeva just because you have to have that kind of a drishti or you look at you know even parmeshwara is invoked in a particular idol in a particular idol it is not idol worship so puja swami used to say that uh, everyone who says hindus are idol worshipers they are mistaken they don't understand what hinduism is what sanatan dharma is what vaidika dharma is when we invoke the deity in an idol when we invoke the same parmeshwara in an idol with a with a male or a female form with a limited form of the idol we are not looking upon limitations of the idol as parmeshwara we are not worshiping the idol we are worshiping the invoked ishwara there and because we cannot really objectify limitless ishwara we are using the form and other features of that idol to worship the parmeshwara it is not the idol which is worship it is parmeshwara who is worship through the idol a huge difference so elsewhere you know here in shlokas as to i do not know what kind of ishwara you are so i have to somehow offer my worship to you so i invoke you in some form or the other that i can appreciate and understand i can objectify in some way and through that objectification i worship the unobjectified you so here also upasana is like that upasana is hand holding of the shruti for you to reach the jnana kanda since it is difficult to understand since aikagre is not there since we have very limited perspective therefore through limited perspectives we are walked through upadis and then finally the jnana kanda will say now you drop all the upadis now you are trained enough now drop the upadis it is not the karya it is not the karana it does not have these hiranmay ityadi rupas धर्मास एंड देन दैट इज यू दैट इज फाइनल टीचिंग सो तात्पर्य विषय इज निर्गुण ब्रह्म सो हिरण्य स्मश्रु केशादिकम तू सो इनफैक्ट दैट्स वाई आई वाज मेंशन द श्लोक आई रिकॉल दैट सो आई ही सेज दैट न जाना मी की दृशो असी आई एम पैराफ्रेजिंग सो ही सेज टू शिवा आदि भक्ता सेज टू शिवा दैट i do not know kidrisho asi how are you i do not know exactly your, how you are i do not know so yadrisha asi tadrishaya namaha however you are to that however you are to that kind of an of you shiva i do namaskara the kavi is finally unable to express with the features also he says okay all these features are okay but still i do not know whether it is that that you that puranas that talk about what you really are i cannot know however i try i cannot know therefore however you are to that however you however being an adjective there my namaskara says the kavi there so hiranya smashru keshadikam tu maikam parmeshwarasya eva maikam roopam nirguna parmeshwaras nirgunasya brahmana eva maikam roopam natu jeevasya samsarinah लोकानुग्रहार्थम वाय बिकॉज दि भक्ता दि उपासका नोस नो बेटर 
So it is hand holding done by the Shruti for Loka Nugraha. For the benefit of the Loka, so that they don't fall behind, they also get to Mukti sooner than later. So Loka Nugraha Artham Upapadyate Iti Avirodaha. There is no counter by your Hetu to my Hetu, says the Siddhanti. My Hetu is, is beyond your Hetu, as in Sarvapapma Rahityam is not my Kam. It is the Swarupa of Brahma. Punya Papa, both are created by Maya. Entire Vyavastha is set up by Maya. So that one remains a samsari. You go beyond and see the Atma Brahma does not have any Punya Papa. It is bereft of that. So that Sarvapapma Rahitya Guna is the Swarupa of Brahma. It is not Guna also. It, that Dharma is is real, Swarupa of Paramatma, whereas your uh, Rupavatvam, Hiranyashma, Shrukesha, all these what Mayika, it is created by Maya, it will not stand scrutiny in the end. But we do not say that you do not meditate in this manner, you do meditate upon that, but not as a Samsari Jiva, because if you meditate upon your Upasya Devata as Samsari, then what phala you will get? You cannot go beyond the upasya dharmas. So the best you will get is samsaritvam. <laughs> not, not anything beyond a samsaritvam. And what kind of an idiot would want to become a samsari by upasana? You want to go beyond the samsara. This dukkha rupa bhavasagara you want to cross. For that you cannot have your upasya devata as a samsari devata. You should meditate, it upon, meditate the way it is mentioned. We agree with all that has been said. That rupa all that has to be meditated upon as your... Upasya Devata also, but that Upasya Devata is Parameshwara. You should have that in your buddhi when you are meditating. Otherwise, it will give you very limited phala, which is not worth the upasana that you are doing. Tasmad Akshaditya Aditya Ho. So, Aksha Aditya Ho. Not Aksha Aditya Ho. Tasmad Akshi Akshi Aditya Ho. Between, uh, not between, in, within, within the Akshini, within the Akshi, within the Akshin, Chakshu of the Jiva and within Aditya, Antaha. Yaha Antaha, within Aditya and Jiva's Chakshu, in the Upasana both have been discussed, that Antaha Aditya and Antaha Akshini, both are what? Not two entities, one single Parameshwara Eva Ityartaha. This is the Antastadvaram Upadesha. Kincha, further reasoning is what? Bheda Vipadesha Chanyaha. Bheda Vipadesha Chanyaha. So, further reasoning is given by Siddhanti as to why should you understand this Akshigata and Adityagata Purusha as Parameshwara and not as a Samsari Jiva. Bheda Vipadesha. There is teaching of Bheda. Between what? Between this Upasaka, this is Aditya Akshnor Antaha Shruyamana Purushaha. We look at it in the Vritti, it's a short Vritti. So, uh, there's no point in repeating what is the meaning here. Anyaha, cha Anyaha. So, here look at it, Bheda Vapadeshat is the Hetu, and what is the uh, re reasoning given here? Uh, Bheda Vapadesha, what is Siddha by Bheda Vapadesha Hetu? Therefore, what? Cha Anyaha. So, there Anyaha is Jeevad Anyaha. Has to be Jeevad Anyaha. Why Bheda has been talked about this Upasaka Jeeva and the Upasya, there is a Bheda between the two. And that teaching is there. Therefore, it is Jeevad Upasaka Jeevad Anyaha. Or this Aditya Sharira Abhimani, one who is that Jeeva, Tasmad Anyaha, and that Tasmad Anyaha has to be Parameshwara. How so? So, Vritti, ka, Vritti mentions that Aditya Aksnor Antaha Shruyamana Purusha, one who is heard as being within Jiva, Jiva's Chakshu, and in the Aditya Surya Mandala, Aditya Mandala or Surya Mandala, that Purusha heard in the Shruti Vakya there in Chandogya Pratma Adhyaya, Aditya Sharira Abhimani. Abhimani naha jivad anyaha. So who is that? 
that purusha is not one who is abhimani there in surya mandala aditya sharira see aditya sharira is what you see and the one who has abhimana there unto that sharira is the aditya devata who is a jeeva so tasmad jeevad anya ha tasmad surya devata ya ha anya ha why so kutaha bheda vipadeshat because there is a teaching of bheda also how is there is a teaching of bheda simple meaning is that upasaka is separate but here the bheda is between the upasya devata and the purusha within that who is actually the, the real upasya there what you think is the upasya devata if it is surya so surya as an upasya devata is a different story surya upasana this is the upasana of that who is within the surya so you can take within the surya mandala within the surya devata also now the siddhant is saying it is within the surya devata not only aditya mandala because aditye need not necessarily be aditya sharira within the aditya sharira it can be within aditya devata also so now how will you make bheda so the siddhant is trying to make bheda between aditya devata who is aditya sharira abhimani and the upasya purusha who is within how so so he says bheda vipadesha there has to be bheda seen between the two if there is a teaching like that then it has to be different from that aditya sharira abhimani devata so aditya sharira abhimani nah jeeva devata tasmad jeevat or devataya being sri linga panchami anyasya paramatmana antaryamitaya upadesha there is an upadesha vyapadesha vi vi purvaka upadesha vyapadesha is the meaning of upadesha so vyapadesha where is it such a teaching antaryamitaya one who is there within controlling this surya devata cannot be controlling the surya devata himself he can control the jeeva by being the adishtatru devata of the jeevas chakshur indriya chakshusha surya ha so the adishtatru devata for chakshur indriya of the jeevas not only one jeeva all jeevas whether human beings or birds or frogs or whatever you take insects elephants other devatas the surya devata is a presiding deities for all chakshur indriyas if that is so then he can rule over these eyes of those jeevas and by extension many other things also health so those who, are, who those who want health they should do aditya you know aditya hridayam ityadi they should worship aditya devata surya devata now what has been said ya ya aditya tishtan ya aditya tishtan is one who is present within aditya that within aditya is not aditya sharira aditya is that not aditya sharira because when you say you that you is not the sharira similarly the aditya when you say aditya aditya is aditya devata you don't talk about a sharira you are not worshiping surya in aditya hridayam also you are not worshiping the body of surya even if you say okay surya i keep an image or i keep a you know uh, cut out or uh, brass idol or whatever of surya still what you are worshiping is the aditya devata there so when you say aditya hridayam the aditya worshiped by rama bhagwan rama or taught there is not that sharira it has to be aditya devata who is abhimani unto who has abhimana who has identification with that sharira therefore ya aditya tishtan is aditya devatayam tishtan one who is there within that aditya devata that has to be bhinna from the aditya devata who is sharira abhimani so this is here to given by the siddhanti that aditya sharira abhimani is aditya devata that himself is not upasya there mind you he says that purusha who is within aditya is parmeshwara who is within aditya who has identified with the sharira and then became became aditya but who is within aditya as an over ruler of that aditya also over lord of that aditya yah aditye tishtan ityadi antaryami brahmane 
तयोर भेद विपदेशा सो इन अंतर्यामी ब्राह्मण इन बृहद आरणिका यू हियर दिस या आदित्य तिष्टन देर फोर यू के नॉट से दैट इट इज संसारी जीवा दिस इज अनदर हेतु गिवन बाय दी बाय दी सिद्धांति टू या आदि सॉरी अंतर्यामी ब्राह्मण सो सॉरी इट इज छांदोग्य थर्ड चैप्टर बृहद वी आर डिस्कसिंग छांदोग्य सो इन दर्ड चैप्टर सेवेंथ खंडा नाइन्थ मंत्रा से इज दैट या आदित्य तिष्ठन so in that antaryami brahmana you have that uh, tayor bhed vyapadesha there is a bhed between aditya devata and the purusha who is said to be tishtan tishtan purusha shatranta pada so it who is there within therefore you cannot uh, consider this as jiva samsari jiva it has to be asamsari parmatma not even samsari devata it has to be tasmad anya परमेश्वर एव अक्षादित्ययोर उपास्यति सिद्धम् so due to this hetu also what has been established now with two, two mantras there are two sutras there are only two sutras in this adhikarana atra api here in this adhikarana also what has been said with these vishayas taken as the shruti mantras antah shabda shrutya because antah shabda has been heard with respect to the akshigata upasana also akshigata purusha upasana also and aditya gata also their antah yah esha aditya antah and that akshini antaha therefore what that antaha shabda shrutya due to the shruti shabda which is antaha the word has been used tat prati abhijnanat because of this knowledge that takes place and what is that really tat prati abhijnanat what will happen you know that it is parmeshwara the way it has been discussed across shrutis you know it is it has to be parmeshwara it cannot be because anta within 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 this within finally who is within that within is always you know anta sakshi that sakshi antaryami parmeshwara eva upasya iti siddham it is established doubtlessly nanu purvatra avyabicharita apahrata not apahrata this apahata Not apahrata. This should be her. There is a typo here. So nanu purvatra avyabicharita apahata apahata papmatvadi brahmalinge na. So in the earlier adhikarana, now the akasha adhi adhikarana comes up. And what is the samanda of this akasha adhi akasha adhikarana akasha adhikarana with the earlier antar adhikarana? So this antar adhikarana, what was decided here? We took the anta shabda and then said. That antaha has to be Parmeshwara, not samsari jiva. And the hetu given was what? Sarva papma rahityadi. That was the hetu. That was the linga. So it was a linga for Brahma. So purvatra avyabicharita. Across all such statements, you have heard this tad dharma, tad dharma upadeshat. You have heard Parmeshwara dharmas, such as. apahata papma one whose papas are have seized means they are not there seized it is a you know it's a bahuri vritti there but then which is never there that kind of papa rahita brahma it will become linga those dharmas having no papa etc those will become linga for brahma so brahma lingena roopa vatvadikam anyatha nitam yatha so roopa vatvam उपक्षी and this is how it can be explained that is how it was taken by the purva pakshi and drifted the purva pakshi's understanding 
was taken away and new understanding has been established na tatha ih in the akasha which is talked about in the jnana kanda upasana kanda also in upanishad there you know asya lokasya kagati hi iti akasha iti huvach so who is the you know final goal or the support of this loka so in the analysis there the mantra had said that it is akashah so the acharya there says akashah that akasha what does this akasha mean <coughs> does akasha mean akasha itself as the pancha mahabhuta the subtlest mahabhuta or does it mean brahma siddhanti says brahma puro pakshi says you can't do that न तथा इह लिंगाद आकाश शब्द श्रुति ही अन्यथा नीतुम शक्य यू के नॉट टेक दि वर्ड आकाश एंड री इंटरप्रिटेड द वे यू डिड विथ रूपवत्व मीनिंग हिरण्यमय पुरुष दैट हिरण्यमय इज रूपमय हैविंग दैट रूप यू री इंटरप्रिटेड दैट बेस्ड ऑन सर्व दिस अव्यभिचरित देर वॉज नो व्यभिचार इन श्रुति इज एज टू Parmeshara being sarva papa rahita and that became the linga for nirguna brahma and therefore rupa vattvam was reinterpreted hiranya mayatvam was reinterpreted by you similarly akasha shabda cannot be reinterpreted by you tatha ya linga you can bring many lingas indicators but akasha shabda shruti is there shruti is valiyasi compared to linga in puro mimamsa also uh, not also in puro mimamsa itself uttar mimamsa has to follow that so just because you are a vedanti you cannot drop your mimamsa says the puro pakshi tatha hi linga akasha shabda shruti hi anyatha netum na shakya this no will go with that it is not possible you cannot take akasha shabda is reinterpreted as brahma tasya ha balavatvad ityata ah why because shruti is is baliyasi de it is it is stronger than your linga pramana therefore you cannot reinterpret it says the puro pakshi so first of all what is avyabhichari what i have said is avyabhichari what is said here here um, this here avyabhicharita is there is avyabhichara there is no vyabhichara where is vyabhichara only when see you are using linga also you are using some anumana if if shruti is consistent shruti is making a similar statement across everywhere then you don't have to look for linga but if shruti says one thing and then says another thing then you have to look at vyabhichara and then say that this is due to maya so that hiranyamayatvam is not you know not the standard it is in one upasana it has been said so but that is not there in brahma at all it is not talking about that jiva there is no such mention again and again but there is what is what is the avyabhicharita shruti shruti there this sarva papma rahityam is avyabhicharita that that is not changing so avyabhichari eva lingam the linga is avyabhichari linga it is not vyabhichari linga vyabhichara is a dosha in anumana in tarka when you are inferring something if you use a hetu which is vyabhichari hetu yatha dhumaha vannehe that is avyabhichari yatra yatra dhumaha tatra tatra vannihi so dhuma will become a hetu which is a avyabhicharita hetu wherever wherever there is dhuma there has to be vanni agni has to be there you cannot have smoke without fire and we are talking about that smoke not the chemical smoke we are talking about the smoke that comes out of a fire if you see smoke then there has to be fire you may not see fire but it it can be inferred because it is a avyabhicha avyabhicharita linga it is a avyabhichari linga vyabhichari linga would be other way around if you say oh just because there is wherever there is smoke there is fire now you reverse it and you say wherever there is fire there is smoke that is not true so na tu vannihi dhumasya vannihi dhumasya avyabhicharita linga lingam na bhavati it is not 
an indicator which is always going to land you on the on dhuma so wherever there is fire there need not be smoke if there is perfectly dried wood and you burn it you won't get smoke theoretically you may say you know i can't get a perfectly dried wood no you can get so uh, or you know the fire can be there in uh, the example is not of the wood which is burnt so example given in tarka shastra also you see that uh, you, you can see fire in in industries where you know gold is melted there is no smoke there so you can see fire but you see no smoke so that is the example given now there is a vyabhichara if you give vanni as hetu for dhuma but dhuma as hetu for vanni has no vyabhichara similarly in the shruti this avyabhicharita means that purvatra avyabhicharita apahata apahata papmatvaadi these are lingas which are brahma lingas and they are not having vyabhichara however rupavattvam has vyabhichara rupavattva will not establish samsari jeeva because it is used here there is not consistent it has not been used wherever rupavattvam is there you cannot bring such kind of a thing there because it is maika so that is one part then here anyatha nitam i already explained anyatha nitam is samsari jeeva apekshaya parmeshwara iti anyatha nitam this interpretation of rupavattvam using maika as an explanation that has been taken away and instead of samsari jeeva as a resultant of this hetu of the purva pakshi anyatha nitam is parmeshwara parmeshwara is the it is taken parmeshwara pratinitam it has been interpreted as parmeshwara who takes maika forms for loka anugraha similarly here you cannot do it says the purva pakshi why he has given a hetu as this shruti is there tasyah shrute he balavatva shruti has no dependence on anything linga has a dependence linga depends on shruti therefore shruti which is what nirapeksho ravah shruti so we have seen in uh, few of these uh, purvas uh, artha sangraha that we saw there definition of shruti is what nirapeksho ravah shruti is right the statement or the word the utterance which is without any expectancy of other that is shruti hi linga has expectancy therefore we'll see more as to the gradation it will keep on coming because this is a hetu which is going to be used by both the purva pakshi and the uh, and the uh, siddhanti to establish strength of the hetu so akasha adikaran here it says akasha stal lingat akasha stal lingat so the sutra itself say we we'll stop after the sutra we we'll look at vritti in the next part ha but akasha tal lingat tal linga is there the linga has been is there therefore akasha what is the vritti there akasha brahma akasha is brahma akasha does not mean akash itself akasha itself it does not mean bhutakasha so whether it is bhutakasha or it is parabrahma iti vishaye पूर्व पक्षी इज गोण से भूताकाश सिद्धांत विल से आकाश शब्द ब्रह्मेव गृह सो दट इज दूत्रार्थ आकाश आकाश इज इक्वल टू ब्रह्म आकाश ब्रह्म आकाश शब्द ब्रह्मेव गृह से कस्मा कारण तल्लिंगा देर इज अंग गिवन दट ब्रह्मलिंग इज सीन देन वॉट अबउट दिस कंपेर्ड टू श्रुति Uh, compared to linga shruti is baliyasi so that will be answered in the vritti we'll see uh, as to how uh, shruti badaka linga can be in certain scenarios and that we'll see in the vritti in the next part amna yantika samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam anand gana apurnam atma jyoti rupasmahe namaste namaste namaste